you here to see the most today, do you reckon? Oh, probably Metallica. Metallica. Can't wait to see Sub 41 and Metallica. Yeah. And, uh, who else? We've got Lincoln Park and Offspring. There's so many to see. So there is, there is so good. many to see. Blink-182. Yeah. Uh, but I want to see Metallica at the same yeah. time. So what are you going to do about that? I don't know. You I know. have to try and run, run from around. one to the other. Run around like a crazy woman. Metallica's the big one tonight. Metallica, yeah. What's it going to mean for you once they come out on stage? I can't describe it. I'm going to lose my mind. Joining me right now, the master of metal, James Hetfield. Sir, it is so good to have you in my presence. Now, I was curious, when was the last time you, James Hetfield, was in a mosh pit, and who was it for? <laughs> I've created my own mosh pits quite a, quite a lot when we go to, you know, whenever our favorite bands are in town, whether it was, you know, like I think the last one was The Sword uh, or Gojira were in town. Uh, I just, I get moved by the music so much that people just kind of back up, <laughs> give me my space, you know, and, uh, but in a legitimate festival, mosh pit, that's, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe that's a luxury that I've kind of lost, uh, but I think it would be well respected if I went down in there. I don't know, what do you think? A formidable force. I'd actually be terrified to see what would happen if you went into a, a, a mosh pit. And if you were, I would say Slayer. I would love to oh, see you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no other, no yeah. other pit like Slayer. So much is happening for you. I mean, your band has been nominated for one of the most important Lifetime Achievement Awards at the Golden Gods Awards. How does an acknowledgement like that make you and the boys feel? Well, we, we've been doing what we love for 30 years, and we've had many awards along the way. Uh, I think the biggest award is recognition for changing people's lives and making an impact on people and that is another one of those awards that has done that and you know besides getting kudos from all the fans and everything we're totally blessed to get anything really now you do talk about you know changing lives because when it comes to metallica music your fans don't just want your music it seems like it's something that they need in their lives to get them through things and it makes me wonder what can they fill that desire with afterwards when you guys just decide to stop music what do metallica fans what are they going to fill that void with uh they're gonna i don't know they're gonna have to come we'll, we'll start a commune or something you know <laughs> we'll have metallica camp where everyone can just come live i don't know uh there's no there's no reason for us to stop first of all uh, you know, as far as artists and musicians, they don't retire, you know. They might tour less, but we're having a blast doing what we're doing. And it's a, it's a beautiful cycle because they think we inspire them, but they inspire us. So, it feeds itself. It's beautiful. Martin, For someone like you that's been playing a, a fair considerable amount of gigs every single week of their entire life, it's probably going to be tough, but can you think about a gig that you appreciate more than maybe any other? Well, it's, it's an easy answer. Uh, the 30-year anniversaries we did in, at the Fillmore uh, in San Francisco, hometown gigs, celebrating 30 years of being together with fans from Every corner of the world traveled in for those shows. We did four shows. We had guests coming up from, you know, Ozzy to Halford to uh, Biff from Saxon, and we had uh, bands that we appreciate open for us or have opened for us before. You know, I'm guessing as a band feels pretty awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. And just having people up singing, jamming, it was a beautiful time. We had a friend of ours hosting it, Jim Brewer, a comedian. We had game shows going, we had a museum there, we had just a lot of cool Metallica history and appreciation for everyone who's been involved in the band for 30 years. That, that was a lot of work. We played 80 songs uh, and our minds were just blown by uh, the love and respect that we got. We had a great time. 
I mean, I, how could I? On that note, I'd say that I, I'm going to let you get backstage, go hang out with your band buddies and talk with the rest of the musicians here at the festival. But James Hetfield. Absolute pleasure. Metallica, music, metal, right here at Soundwave 2013. Yeah! <laughs>